Okay, this is my uh, 28th boiler. Probably the best one I've ever built. Everything came out perfect on it. Um, so, gonna maybe pop off here pretty soon. It's the, the pop off valve set at 125, so we'll see. And this is the very first time it's fired up. I have a huge pump on this one that moves a lot of water. And I've got just a little container here to show you how much water it moves. it going down there. So that's really good. Plumbed all in. Whistle. I'll blow it here. I'm allowed. Turn down your volume. And uh, tricox, water sight glass, uh, blower on it, blower handles right there for the stack blower. Moves a lot of air through the fire if you need it. We're getting coal running. Get a fire build up and a little bit of steam with wood just to add some coal and turn on that blower and it'll go on really fast. And then uh, there's an ash pan down here in draft door. I leave it about an inch out. A couple new little features there, a little brass ball there and the handle, of course, that's what I've used all the time. Um, drain and water in here and this is uh, uh, engine outlet so if you've got an engine that you want to connect to it which you probably do half inch should run most any engines up to about seven horsepower and that's about it like I said, this is about the best boiler I've ever built. Everything fit perfectly on it. Copper tubes, all of them are rolled in. There's 25 inch and a half copper tubes rolled in. And that gauge was a mess when I got it. And I just polished up. It was a, like a nickel plating on it. Some of the brass is showing through, but it cleaned up real nice. Of course the cart doesn't go with it, it's just the spoiler and the pump, of course. Okay, the pop-off valve has been going off at 140. at 125 but it goes off at 140 which is fine Good.